Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, Barashim, Machap the Dash, Dabanas the Apostles, uh, Bishops of uh, Great Millstone, and uh, Shalom to the elect, that's who these lessons are for. Alright, it's a quick uh, little lesson here, man. I'm here uh, at uh, Christ, Christ's Forgiveness, that's the name of the page, and this guy, uh, David Lynn, you know, uh, he's gained notoriety, and not notoriety, I should say, um, well, I can use the word notoriety, okay, for, uh, you know, approaching uh, Hebrew Israelite camps and uh, trying to debunk, you know, what, what the Hebrew Israelites are saying from what he's saying and he's obviously a, a, a Christian a so called Christian pastor okay you see what I'm saying which he he is not full with the Holy Spirit he's filled with the demons okay of hell alright now I've watched about 1 minute and 55 seconds of this video and I'll play a little bit of it now and you can see that this guy is nothing but a Christian pastor. All right. He's not a prophet of the Most High. He's not prophesizing. And he's not filled with the Spirit of the Lord, man. Okay, so let me play. What it means to open the door spiritually. No volunteers out of a whole bunch of Christians. Okay, we, we, we need a lot of work, Pastor. A lot of work needs to be done in Orange County. Three people. What is What does it mean to scream it out loud? to repent okay because when you repent what you're doing is you're receiving something different how can you receive a savior Come on, if you're holding on to other saviors if you don't let go of your i don't want to hear your words i want to hear the scriptures man okay you see what i'm saying i want to hear the scriptures he got a guy you know what i'm saying on the uh on the right that the that's you know his left that's on my left but his his right you know what I'm saying if you in the video there you see what I'm saying uh playing a guitar to woo people all right but guess what you you not doing the work of the Lord man you know what I'm saying you are a charlatan man okay I got a uh, scripture right fast man this is uh First Corinthians fourteen and one follow after charity now charity doesn't have to be uh, money all the time because as soon as somebody hear the word charity they start to think about money you know what I'm saying oh, donate, this to, donate this amount of money to my charity and so that's what these celebrities be saying you know a lot of times you come to find out that they lying about the donations they given to charities but as far as the brotherhood is concerned, when it says charity, yeah, sometimes it can mean if a brother, you know, is uptight, you break him off with a couple of dollars or something like that, you know, you know, some money or whatever. Or you could, if a brother's moving, you know, you, you sacrifice your time, your day, you could have, you know, been doing whatever have you. And uh, you, you sacrifice that for, for the sake of a brother. Or if a brother needs to be lifted up in the spirit, built up in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? You could impart some scriptures, some wisdom, knowledge, and understanding upon a brother to uplift him. That's also a part of charity. Okay? It says, uh, and desire spiritual gifts. So we're not supposed to desire, you know, things like Lamborghinis and, you know, e even though, you know, that's nice. You know what I'm saying? Everybody likes nice things and all that. But, you know what I'm saying? Desire spiritual gifts, man. Okay, because in the end, that's what's going to, you know, that's what's going to help you make it on them ships when the time of salvation comes, man. Okay, not, you know what I'm saying, something that's tangible. Anything that's here, they, it ain't going to be brought up, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the ships. Anything tangible that's here, as far as, you know, you know, something that's, you know, in, in an adamant object, cars and, you know what I'm saying, motorcycles, a house or something like that, you know what I mean? You know, the big house with the with the pool in the back. Yo, that's not going to make it on the ships with you. So you've got to desire spiritual gifts, man. You know what I mean? In other words, don't be praying to the Most High for, for some bullshit, man. 
it reads, but rather that ye may prophesize. Okay? Which the word prophecy means to say before. Okay? Let me see what they have for the word prophesize. Okay, here in the um in the Greek. Let me scroll down. Now it's from the Strong's G uh 4395 Strong's G 4395 Prophetuo 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 It says um to prophesize to be a prophet speak forth by divine inspiration to predict okay to prophesize all right so the prophets are predicting the future why because it's written in the holy bible man Okay, it says, with the idea of foretelling future events pertaining especially to the kingdom of heaven, the, the, uh, the kingdom of the Most High. So, foretelling future events, what are we doing when we tell you that America is destroyed? That's a sign that, that the Lord is dealing with a certain man. Because why? Because the guy is prophesizing, man. A lot of these guys, man, like this guy... Going back to this jerk off, man. This dude is a straight demon, man. Okay? And anybody is following him, man, you a demon too, man. Don't be, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, hoodwinked or, or, you know what I'm saying, um, overcome with this demon, man. This guy is a demon. All right? David Lynn is a damn demon. He's not a man of the Most High, and Yahweh Shem Shah is going to destroy him. Okay? It says here, to utter forth, declare a thing which can only be known by divine revelation, to break forth under sudden impulse in lofty discourse or, or praise of the divine counsels, under like uh, prompting to teach, refute, reprove, admonish, uh, comfort others, uh, like the scriptures say, you know, speak you know, calmly to Jerusalem that her, her warfare is accomplished. That's what we're telling you that, you know what I'm saying? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to sit upon thrones, you know, with, with your enemies up under you, man. You know, you're going to receive the, the, the promises of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, these other, you know what I'm saying, these offshoot, you know what I'm saying, guys, man, that, that vocab and uh, James White, the Edomite, uh, now you got David Lynn, you know what I'm saying? These guys are trying to, you know, refute that. These guys are not telling you the, the uh, they're not predicting to you what's going to happen. They're not foretelling the, uh, the future events pertaining to the kingdom, okay, and things like that, man. It says to act as a prophet. Now, we're not putting on an act. These guys are acting, okay? You see what I'm saying? It says discharge the prophetic office. And that's what we doing, man. We telling you what's gonna happen before it happens, okay? Now, it was the, in the definition, it was a lot said, but the 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 plain meaning of the word prophesize means to say before, okay? So, you know, when you when you watch this man, or other saviors, how are you gonna reach? Let me let me just illustrate this to you, cause some of you don't understand the connection between. Which, by the way, the Apostle Gabar on his channel went into that that um that uh that cross he has on the back of his uh his so-called garment or whatever the hell that it looked like a damn bustier, you know what I'm saying? He's wearing man. In faith and repentance, grace and repentance. But if I'm walking this way, I'm drunk, I'm high, I'm living in all sorts of sin, and I'm walking that way, and I'm holding on to to my affairs, my fornication. And that Jesus is knocking at the door of my heart. If I man, that's that, that's that, that's that poverty pimp doctrine, man. Get out of here, man. All right. Tells you the spirit of the Lord is this. Revelation nineteen and ten, and I felt. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, 
I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahawashai. All right, not Jesus. Okay, the Lord's name was Yahawashai. Okay, it says, Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahawashai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, not a, a slick talking nigga. All right. There's no change in direction. Am I right? Not a slick talking nigga. Okay. Uh, pumping that prosperity doctrine. Okay. You see what I'm saying? This is madness, man. Now we telling you the truth, skinny man. We telling you exactly what's gonna happen, man. We telling you like the scriptures say it, man. All right. So it tells you the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So if you testifying of Yahweh Shai, you in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you're supposed to be prophesizing, man. And that's what I don't see from vocab. I don't see that from them guys, man. I don't see that from um, James White. These guys are Edomites any damn way. I don't see that from Lynn, David Lynn. Because why? And I don't even see that from a lot of these other Israelite camps like the IUIC and... Uh, you know, uh, uh, the ISUPK, these guys are worrying about, you know what I'm saying, uh, burgers and fringes. Oh, by the way, it's June. You know what I'm saying? They worried about all, all different kinds of madness, man. But they ain't prophesizing, man. Okay? We the ones coming out letting you know that America's going to be destroyed and that, you know, you know, you're going to be destroyed. Lord will... You know what I'm saying? If you get yourself together, maybe the Lord will have mercy on you. Scriptures speak about if the if the wicked, you know what I'm saying? If the wicked forsake his way. All right. Salah, give me um I think it's Jeremiah I'm supposed to go to right here. I think it's twenty eight. It's twenty eight and eight. Yeah. You know, we the ones that are telling you that, man. These guys are not prophesizing unto you, man. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You know, when when you, when you watch these 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 um these prosperity, you know, pimps, you know what I'm saying? They got a sermon about, you know, the Lord, the Lord's going to help you out. Everything is going to, you know, that that Bob Marley Every every little thing is gonna be all right, spirit man. That's bullshit, man. Everything ain't gonna be all right, man. The scriptures speak about cannibalism, about you know your children dying in the streets, man. Okay, of war and, and pestilence and and bloodshed and sword and famine. Okay, and plague. That's what the scriptures are speaking about, man. Okay, it reads the prophet which prophesies it of peace. Yeah, you 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 acting like a prophet, you know. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord has truly sent him. And guess what? That prosperity, that peace is not coming here to America. Everything is circling the goddamn drain, man. Okay? So you know you know who, who the true prophets are from what they're speaking, man. We're telling you the future events of the Lord coming back. And he's a so-called black man. And he's coming to jack these damn devils up, destroy America, and take the kingdom, man. Take take over all these nations and take them down man and put us the israelites on top man okay begin with his elect man all right we the ones bringing that out to you man not these assholes man but guess what the scriptures do tell you the blind lead the blind and both shall fall into the ditch man i'm telling you right now man anybody following this jerk off man hey. am i right okay if i'm are you right no you demon you're not fucking right, all right? You see what I'm saying? Anybody following this jerk off, man, the most high, you know what I'm saying, has deceived you, and you're going to be destroyed more than likely right along with him. Hey, man, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakaq Dash, a double honor to the apostles and bishops of our great millstone, and Lord will, I'll be back at you with another one. Shalom.